What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Snow Blunt Talk. We back in the classic car location. Well, my car isn't in a classic location, but we back in the car, which is a classic location. You know what I'm saying? I'm really aping that classic location thing from Fulcrum. Shout out Fulcrum. But this video is confirmation. All right. And it's a confirmation for you. And it's a confirmation for me. It's confirmation that I know throughout your life, you might have, you know, people might have convinced you that, oh, you're on the wrong path or like you're not, you you go against the grain, basically. You go against the grain and you're not like everybody else. And, you know, when you were a kid, it was like, oh, cool, you're a quirky little kid. But as you start to get older, you know what I'm saying? And as more and more people are starting to take that, you know, society path, they starting to take that path, you know, that'll guarantee them whatever security they're looking for. You always had that inner knowing that was like, you know what? I don't need as much, you know, security as y'all motherfuckers. I don't need to know niggas think I'm doing something good. I don't need no niggas. I don't need to people to approve of what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? You've always kind of been your own person and you know your path deep down. But because of influences around you, you've been starting to doubt that. You've been starting to be like, mm, maybe I should start doing this. Maybe I should invest in that. Maybe I should, you know, maybe I should give this all up and go for this. Maybe everyone's right. I made this video to tell you, bro, you need to stay on that motherfucking path that you on. Stay on that motherfucking soul path that you know is good in your soul. Stay on that shit that you know is for you. Do not dim your light for anyone, bro. Do not dim your light for anyone. I know you on a path less traveled by. And I know parents, teachers, your friends, they looking at you like, I don't know what so-and-so is doing. You know what I'm saying? They all... They wish you would do something that was more normal and more like acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Because basically they it's not like they hate you and they don't want you to be your best self. They want you to be your best self. It's just that most people, the way they want you to be your best self is if they were in their if they were in your shoes, how would they do things? You know what I'm saying? That's how most people go about wanting you to be your best self so it's not about for most people you know wanting you to truly do what you want to do it's like okay if i was you what would i do and especially when it comes to like parents and everything you know what i'm saying especially when it comes to parents because parents will definitely you know they definitely more often than not have your best interest at heart but what you need to understand is they're thinking from the perspective of what what would they have done at your age or what do they think is the best course of action to keep you as safe and as surefire as possible because i'm not gonna lie to you yes everyone can tell like it's, it's it seems obvious that the best path to take is you know the regular one you know what i'm saying the one that everyone's taking you know go find you a nice little job go get you a nice little degree and if you on your soul path you can still do these things but don't forget your purpose see don't sacrifice your true inner purpose for anything superficial like oh you got some cushy job here you got, you know what I'm saying? A good, you, don't sacrifice your inner purpose for any of that. Yes, you can use those things as a means to an end. You can get you a regular old job in order to fund what you really want to do, but don't get stuck at that job. Don't let that job become you. Don't identify with that path because your path is way different from everybody around you, bro. You are a light worker. You a star C, whatever you want to call it. You meant to do big things. And this is your confirmation. You meant to do things that are against the grain. You meant to do things that most people are not going to ever do in their life. You meant to be someone that most people will never, you meant to encapsulate characteristics that most people can't even fathom of. You know what I'm saying? People ever come up to you, they're like, damn, bro, how do you do that? How you act like that? Like, how you, how you move like that? Bro, that's just how I am. That's just how you are. That's just how we are. You feel me? We meant to do big things. We meant to make big moves and we meant to change the world. We not we don't have to we don't have to go all out to change the world. We don't have to be Mr. Beast, make the most money in the world and then, you know, give it out to people. Even though, even though actually, actually when it comes to like someone like Mr. Beast, the amount of money and stuff they get, I don't even see it as like, oh, it's capitalistic. He's just aping for content. Nah, you know what I see it as? I see it as, bro, that's his purpose. Well, that's what he meant to do. So God going to give him all the money he need to do his purpose because that's what he's meant to do see y'all gotta understand this one thing all right let money be a byproduct 
of whatever your purpose is. Because when you on your purpose, bro, the money, whatever you're looking for, all that material shit is going to come. Niggas be fucking up by chasing the material shit. And that's the, that's a lot of people walking around. Y'all hear about NPCs. I like to call them NPCs. And I ain't talking about the damn beat making machines. They material pleasure chasers. Not NPCs, they NPCs. You know what I'm saying? Most people, their goal is to make a lot of money fuck a lot of bitches and just be able to sleep comfortably and have a lot of money well i already said that but you, you know what i'm saying they want to sleep in a nice house and have a lot of money and do they just want all the immediate physical pleasure gratification and it takes an enlightened person if you watching this channel if you watch me you probably know none of that shit means a goddamn thing bro when you die ain't none of that money going with you you know what i'm saying I don't even know how death really works. It, it, like, is this just a whole game and then the whole shit restart with it? I don't know. But all I'm saying is this, bro. When you stop prioritizing that material gain and focus on your purpose, you realize all that shit just comes regardless. To be honest, you're going to attract people that's going to help you find your purpose. You're going to attract the money you need to fulfill your purpose. You're going to attract everything. And while you keep focusing on your purpose and keep zeroing in on your soul purpose and who you are and your soul itself... It's okay to get a cushy little job. It's okay to f go to school. It's okay to, I'm not saying, you know, drop out and drop everything in your life and just focus on whatever the fuck shit you want to do. Nah, bro, like, go ahead and do these things that can, you know, afford you some stability, you know, afford you some capital to invest, afford you, you know, some education to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? Or some education, just to gain education in general is a good thing. Afford you some education in general. Afford you new opportunities that could lead you in the direction you meant to be led in. You don't even know. You could get a degree. You know, you could say you could be in school right now. And then you get that degree. And then all of a sudden you get a job. And then that job puts you on to what your real purpose is. And you would have never found that had it not been for that degree. Had you not gone to school. So don't be mistaken. This is not like an anti-society drop out of college fuck a job video. This is a video saying if you have a lot of people in your life who are trying to steer you toward that, you know, cookie cutter path, who are trying to steer you toward doing what everybody else is doing out of security, out of, you know, wanting to, you know, people have the same reason. They're like, you know, I was saying, I just want to be successful. I just want to make sure, bro, I'm not saying like sacrifice your security, but I am saying sacrifice that damn mindset. Throw that fucking mindset out the goddamn window, bro. Fuck that damn mindset of, oh, I just want to be safe, so I'm going to keep investing my time into this. Nah, see these jobs and these degrees as what they are, means to an end. And focus on your end. Focus on your purpose. Because your purpose is going to afford you all the peace and stability and satisfaction and happiness and joy that money can't buy. People go and get these big-ass jobs and try and make a lot of money just so they could feel half as good as somebody that's truly on their purpose feels. Think about that. You were you came into this world to do big things. You had to take a walk on the wild side. You had to take the path less traveled by. And most people are not going to understand you. They're not going to understand the path that you have to take. But let this video be your confirmation that you need to stay on that path. Do not dim your light for anyone.